This is part 18 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what is JSON, JSON arrays, and nested JSON object. What is JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON is a lightweight data interchange format that's widely used by applications these days. JSON is an easier to use alternative to XML. Let's say, for example, we want to represent an employee data. Let's say we want to capture employee's first name, last name, gender, and salary. If we want to represent such an employee's data in XML format, this is how we would do it. We would create an employee element, and within that, we would have first name, last name, gender, and salary elements. So here, we are representing employee's data using XML format. Now, if we want to represent the same employee data in JSON format, this is how we would do it. Here, employee JSON is a JSON object. We would create a JSON object using a pair of curly braces. And within the curly braces, we have got name value pairs. So here, our first name, last name, gender, and salary are the property names of this employee JSON object. Todd here is the value for first name property. So we would separate the property names and the values using a colon symbol. And multiple properties are separated using a comma. So here, at the moment, we've got four properties within this employee JSON object. But you can have as many properties as you want. So this is how we would create a JSON object. Now, if we want to read data from this JSON object, we would simply use the property names. For example, if we want to read the first name property value, we would simply say employee JSON, which is our variable here, JSON object, dot first name. Similarly, if you want to read salary property value, dot salary. In fact, if you're using tools like Visual Studio, as soon as you type employee JSON, and as soon as you type dot, you would see in the IntelliSense all the property names of this employee JSON object. So let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So within our jQuery ready function, let's create a variable. Let's call this employee JSON equals. So we create a JSON object using a pair of curly braces. So the first property that we want is first name. And we would separate the property names and their values using a colon symbol. So the value for this property is going to be Todd. And the second property is going to be last name. So we are separating multiple properties using comma. So the value for last name is going to be grower. Third property is going to be gender. And the value is going to be male. And the last property is salary. And the value is going to be 50,000. So here employee JSON is in JSON format. Now let's say we have a div element within the body element. So let's actually give it an ID. Let's call it div result. So what we want to do is display the employee JSON property and its value in this div element. So we want the property name as well and its value. Okay. So let's create a variable here. Let's name this result and initialize that to an empty string. So result plus equals. So we want the string first name equals employee JSON. So we want to read the first name property value. So I'm using this JSON object employee JSON dot first name should give us the value of that property. And look at this. As soon as I type dot within the IntelliSense, we can see all the property names of the employee JSON object. So we want to read first name property value. And then let's append an HTML break so we get each property name and its value in a separate line. So I'm going to actually make three more copies of this. And last name equals employee JSON dot last name. And similarly, gender equals employee JSON dot gender. And finally, salary equals employee JSON dot salary. So we have that string within this result variable. So we want to find this div element and set the HTML for that. So I'm going to use jQuery ID selector. 
and the ID selector is pound. So find element by ID and the element that we want to find is result dev and set it as HTML. All right, so let's save these changes and when we reload we should say you now all the property names and their respective values. So here is the example where uh, you know we're creating a JSON object and reading uh, the data that's present within that JSON object and displaying that within the div element. Now what if you want to store more than one employee data in the JSON object? At the moment look at this this JSON object only stores one employee object but let's say I also have another employee Sarah and I want to store her details as well within this object so if we want to store multiple employee data within the JSON object that's when we use JSON arrays so a JSON array can contain multiple objects and to create a JSON array all you would do is use a pair of square brackets so here we have you know a square bracket here and another here okay and within that square brackets we will have you know our respective employee objects which are in JSON format so within the first pair of curly braces we have our first JSON object and then the second JSON object is present in the second set of curly braces and we separate these objects using a comma okay so let's look at that in action so I use a pair of square brackets so this is our first JSON object now I'm going to separate um, you know the first and second JSON object using a comma and then I'm going to use another pair of curly braces and within this set of curly braces we are going to have our second JSON object and it's going to have the same set of properties so I'm going to make a copy of that and change the values so Sarah is going to the first name Baker is the last name gender is female and salary is 40,000 okay so here employees JSON is a JSON array which at the moment contains two JSON objects okay so now if we want to retrieve data from the JSON array you would index that using its index position so let's say for example I want to retrieve the first employees first name to do that I would simply use the variable name which is employees JSON this is a JSON array so I'm going to index that with the index position of the object that you know I want to retrieve so employees JSON of 0 is going to return us this JSON object from that JSON object I want you know maybe first name property so when we reload this page we should see Todd within the development similarly if you want the second JSON object you would use index position 1 and that should return Sarah so to store in you know, a multiple JSON objects we would use a JSON array another way to store multiple employees in the JSON object is by nesting them so at the moment here we're using a JSON array but you could also nest them so instead of using a JSON array I'm going to nest these JSON objects and to nest the JSON objects instead of using square brackets we would use an additional pair of curly braces so I'm going to use a curly brace here so that's the opening curly brace and I'm going to close that here okay and then this is our first JSON object so I'm going to put a string here I'm going to call this Todd colon your first JSON object okay and then here is our second JSON object so I'm going to call this Sarah colon and that's our second JSON object let's actually format this properly by pressing control K and D okay so we have Todd employee object and Sarah employee object now here we are nesting the objects so let's say for example I want to retrieve Todd employees salary if that's the case since this is not an array here we have nested the objects so I can simply say employees JSON dot and look at that I can see Todd and Sarah here so we want Todd salary so employees JSON dot Todd dot we should see salary property 
and now when we reload this page we should see sell uh, Todd's salary which is 50,000 similarly if we want to retrieve any of the properties of Sarah employee objective would simply say Sarah dot salary should give you salary which is 40,000 now this JSON formatted data is widely used these days by many applications in our upcoming videos we'll discuss where we could use this JSON formatted data Thank you for listening and have a great day.